Hello, welcome to Hot Hospitality Exchange. I'm Sabrina Myers, your go-to for discovering the best venues, hotels, destinations, shows, and suppliers around the globe for mice from an event planner's perspective, i.e. me. And this is vlog number 25. Vlog number 25 is of my experience attending Mice Peak in Riga, Latvia. The show was four days long, four nights. So there's no possible way with all the footage and everything that I experienced that I can possibly compress it into one video. So it's going to be split into a few different vlogs. So this vlog is going to be number 25, as I mentioned, and will be of my day one attending the Mice Peak in Riga, Latvia. So for those of you who don't know what Mice Peak is, it is primarily a show that is annual, it happens every year, and it's specifically for buyers or event planners from Germany, Switzerland, and Austria, or German-speaking territories around those countries. So the show was for four nights. I was in Riga, Latvia for four nights. It was arriving on a Thursday night and departing on a Monday afternoon. Ooh, I was a bit cold, so I had to put my cardigan on. Sorry about that. Um, so my flight uh, to the show was from Dusseldorf. And from Dusseldorf to Riga, it is two hours on a direct flight. I flew Air Baltic and it was a really nice experience. It was a great airline, good seats, comfortable. The food was lovely, so thank you Air Baltic. Enjoy my first evening and day one of the Mice Peak Riga Latvia that took place earlier this year. Arrived on Thursday night and a lot of the buyers and suppliers also arrived on Thursday night and we were greeted at the airport by Peter from Iceboard and owner and organizer of MySpeed, as well as Igers from Meet Riga. We were put onto shuttle buses, which then took us to the hotel that we were going to be based for the duration of the stay, which was the Radisson Blue Latvia Conference and Spa Hotel. If you're interested in finding out more about my hotel room, what it looked like, all that sort of thing, well, Follow me on Instagram, I'm at Hot Hospitality E, and I've got a IGTV of my hotel room tour, so you can see exactly the room that I stayed in, as well as I've done a complete highlight of the entire experience on my Instagram account. So you can go to my highlights and check out my speed. The program kicked off already on Friday morning. Just after breakfast, the buyers that had already arrived on the Thursday evening um, were all brought together and taken out to explore Riga, Latvia. And along the course of the day, there would be more buyers arriving from different parts of Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. And the welcome reception was going to take place that evening, Friday evening really cool that I found about this particular show that I actually really enjoyed and agree with is that they used three different DMCs to put the program together. So you actually got to experience what three different DMCs could offer and organize, but you got to meet three different ones. So there wasn't one preferred DMC that the show was working with. And I think that's very different and I've not had that experience before. So that I really, really liked. I also had the entire program of what we were going to be doing the next few days at the back of my lanyard, which is super, super helpful because I could just be like, oh, what are we doing now? And then I would flip it around and I'd be like, no, oh, we're going to go now and explore Sigulda, which is one of the areas that we did go to. But our first stop was this area called Likatni. So we hopped onto a bus and 3K management, the DMC, were in charge of our day to day. Funktioniert noch völlig und da ist noch immer eine direkte Linie, man kann so sagen, mit, mit Kremlin. Die ganzen äh, 90er und Anfang 2000 war dieser Bunker und wir haben, ich, ich habe als Kind, da war ich auch da in den 90ern in diesem. In, uh, in diesen. And I was very excited because we were heading to Ligatny to an old former Soviet bunker and we were going to go down and we we're going to explore it. 
Now, this was great to see because it's a great activity that you can integrate into your program when you bring a group to Riga. Um, so you speak to the DMCs that you're using um, and organize this. And you can do escape room activities, do different tours. Um, there's two rooms that you can um, organize uh, meals in uh, or events in that you'll see later where we ended the tour. And this is me sort of just walking around through the bunker, which was very, very cool experience. Sixties, seventies, and even eighties, that was a rule that anywhere, under the schools, factories, offices, hospitals, in cities and towns, there must be hiding places for civilians. Officially, 99% of all people of Latvia could hide somewhere underground. We were given a tour of the entire bunkers, um, different rooms that we could explore where all the activity and strategic planning and all the things that used to happen back then. It was very, very interesting. This is an old Soviet canteen. And we ended in a lovely party room with some shots of vodka and open face sandwiches. <laughs> So why are you still can? Hey guys, okay. that's the wrong time here. Yeah. Cheers. And our host was the best. Then we went to visit a luge and bobsled track, which is still open to visitors and athletes nowadays in Segulda, and you can use it for your incentives and groups, which is a fantastic facility and option if you are in Riga. You can also go to Segulda Adventures where we went and do a ton of outdoor activities with your group. Then we went to the Castle of Lagunia Order, which is in Segulda and it's actually a beautiful venue that you can use for outdoor events. Um, you can create an amphitheater of your own, you can do a festival, all sorts of things. So it's a really great, beautiful space, obviously the site of an old castle. And there we did something very interesting. A spring tradition in Latvia, which is drinking birch water. So we did a birch water tasting. So we did a tasting of water from birch trees. Then we went to a really cool restaurant for a game-themed seated lunch. And as you can see, it's very rustic, a lot of wood, a lot of stone, beautiful views, really sort of in the middle of this forest. It was a great space and lunch was absolutely delicious. So day one ends and this vlog's gonna end with the, the welcome reception of Mice Peak. Uh, which was held at the top of the Red and Blue Latvia Conference and Spa Hotel. It's a bar called Skyline Bar and it was a really breathtaking space and you can actually hire it out exclusively for events just like we did. This event was, it was, it was hired up till about 10.30 and then it opened up to the public just, you know, get a bit more atmosphere and that sort of thing. But we had um, cocktails and gin and tonics that we could have, really, really great catering and we had fantastic live food stations. So check it out. It was really, really well organized and really well done. And we had a lovely thank you and welcome from the general manager of the hotel, as well as getting to know all the suppliers that were going to be at the show that we were going to be meeting for the rest of the few days. And then just a great overall networking evening before day two kicks off, which is going to be my next vlog. Thank you so much for joining me on vlog number 25 of my experience as a buyer from Germany attending Mice Peak in Riga, Latvia, day one. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you're on Instagram, I've put my handle right here. 
So please follow me. I love to do stories when I'm on site of all my experiences. I've got a ton of highlights that you can already have a look at of everything I've done this year. If you're on Twitter, I would love to tweet. So please follow me on Twitter and I will follow you right back. Of course, if you've liked the video and you like the content, I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for the next vlog, which will be my Speak Riga Latvia day two. Now, if you are an event professional who's based in Germany, Austria, or Switzerland, and you're interested in attending any of the My Sport events like My Speak, then check out their website. Um, I've put all the details in my contents box below so that you have the information. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next one. Take care. Bye.